Hello students, Cuarto A and Cuarto B, this is Miss Mariana here, and today we are continue working with unit number four. The name of the unit is about jobs. Do you remember what's the meaning of jobs in Spanish? Very good. In, Sp in Spanish means um, trabajos, for example, teacher, doctor, police officer, etc. Okay, but today we are going to work on how to ask people about their jobs and also to mention the jobs of other people do. So now in Spanish. Hoy día vamos a trabajar cómo preguntarle a otras personas sobre su trabajo y también vamos a aprender a mencionar el trabajo de otras personas. In this case, we are going to focus on two main people. Nos vamos a enfocar en dos personas principalmente. He for a man, a man or a boy and she for a woman or a girl, okay? So I need you please pay attention to the following. So, so as I told you before, the number and the title of this unit is jobs and routines. And today uh, the objective is to talk about jobs of people. So I need you please open your English copybook. Necesito que abras tu cuaderno de inglés and write down, que escribas, unit four, Unit for jobs and routines, the title and the objective, y el objetivo, to talk about jobs of people, hablar sobre los trabajos de otras personas. Eh, tómate tu tiempo para escribirlo, hazlo con calma, pon pausa en este video, y cuando estés ready, let's continue. So, ready? Let's move on. Okay, here uh, we are with Miss Jessica, because we want to, to watch the following video, about jobs, okay? This is a very short video about different types of jobs. Uh, and this person describes um, each one of these jobs, gives characteristics of different jobs. So pay attention and enjoy it. Ponen atención y que lo disfruten. In this video, we will learn how to talk about jobs. First, Let's review the vocabulary for some common jobs. What does Lucy do? She's a housewife. What does a housewife do? A housewife manages her home. What's Derek's job? He's a dentist. What does a dentist do? A dentist cares for teeth. What's Sarah's occupation? She's a pharmacist. Where does a pharmacist work? A pharmacist works in a pharmacy. What does Colin do? He's a mechanic. Where does a mechanic work? A mechanic works in a garage. What does Mark do? He's retired. What did he do before he retired? He was an accountant. What does Claire do for a living? She's unemployed, but she has an interview for a job today. Now we will review some follow-up questions related to jobs. What's your job? I'm a salesperson. How do you get to work? I usually drive. I sometimes take the subway. What's your occupation? I'm an office worker. What days do you work? I work Monday to Friday. What do you do for a living? I'm an engineer. Do you like your job? Yes, I do. It's interesting. What's your job? I'm a travel agent. Where do you work? I work for ABC Travel Company. What do you do? I'm a student. What do you study? I study economics. Now let's play a fun game. I'm thinking of one of these jobs. Can you guess who I'm thinking about by asking yes, no questions? Do they wear a uniform? Yes, they do. Do they wear a hat? No, they don't. Do they help people? Yes, they do. Can you guess who it is? 
Is she a nurse? Yes, she is. Let's play again. Can you guess who I'm thinking of? Do they use tools? No, they don't. Do they wear a hat? Yes, they do. Do they work on a plane? Yes, they do. Is the person a flight attendant? No. Then it must be the pilot. Yes, you're right. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe or check out my other videos. Okay, guys, so we already watched a short video about different descriptions of, about or characteristics about different jobs. Um, you uh, watch and listen, uh, for example, uh, the description of a nurse, which in Spanish means enfermero or enfermera, and the descriptions where uh, she helps people or he helps people, she wears a uniform or he wears a uniform, okay? So uh, another description could be he or she, uh, he works in a hospital, she works in a hospital. So uh, those are examples of descriptions for different jobs, okay? In the case of he or she. Now let's move on to the next one. Here we go. First, as I told you, we are going to learn, vamos a aprender, how to, or to ask questions about job of people, okay? Uh, how can we know uh, what people do? Okay? ¿Cómo podemos saber lo que hacen otras personas? Okay? Similar to the video we already watched, pare muy parecido al video que acabamos de ver, eh, I suggest you to do the following question. Te sugiero eh, utilizar la siguiente pregunta. Pay attention. The first word or words you have to include in your question and tu pregunta is the following. Does he or does she, remember, does he in the case of a man? Does she in the case of a woman? Okay. Does he or does she? Then we have to include the word. The word work. For example, does he work or does she work with animals? In Spanish, this question means, él trabaja con animales in the case of does he work with animals? En el caso de una mujer sería, does she work with animals? Ella trabaja con animales? Do you notice? So you only have to change he for uh, he for she. Solo tienes que cambiar el he por el she si quieres preguntar por un hombre, he, por una mujer, she. El resto sigue todo igual. Is an obligation? Yes or yes. You have to include the word does, the person, he or she, work, and in blue, the job. Y lo que está en azul puede ser el, el trabajo o una descripción o característica. Okay? In this case, uh, I included a characteristic. So the characteristic in blue is with animals. Eh, la característica que incluye en este ejemplo fue con animales. Okay? If you have this question, si tú tienes esta pregunta que empieza con does he or does she, you have two alternatives of answers. Tienes dos alternativas de respuesta. Pay attention. If it's positive, if the answer is affirmative, si tu respuesta es afirmativa, The answer is yes, he does, or yes, she does. Yes, he does for man, or yes, she does for a woman. Okay? <coughs> Sorry. Now, on the other side, if it's negative, the answer, you say, no, he doesn't for a man, or no, she doesn't for a woman. Okay? So please, I need you open your um, English copybook. Necesito que abras tu cuaderno de inglés and write down, que escribas the title, ask about job of people, the question, ojalá que la pregunta la escribas también con diferentes colores como lo, te lo estoy mostrando en la pantalla, 
and the two answers, the affirmative answer and the negative answer. Obviamente no me pueden dibujar a mí. Así que ahí en ese caso puedes poner una happy face y una sad face. Ok, tómate tu tiempo para escribirlo con calma. Puedes ponerle pausa al video cuando estés ready, pones play nuevamente. Ok, so let's move on. Now it's time to uh, practice or to learn, to study how to mention the job people do. Vamos a estudiar entonces ahora cómo mencionamos el trabajo que las personas realizan. Remember that we are studying the, um, how to mention the people in this case of he and she. Estamos solamente estudiando en este caso cómo mencionar el trabajo para un he, que es un él, y para un she, que es una ella. Ok, so pay attention. The first word you have to include to mention the job of people do is he in the case of a man or she in the case of a woman. Then after you have to write or say the word works. Okay. He works. She works. After that, you include the characteristic or the job. Okay, puedes incluir la característica o el trabajo mismo. So, yes or yes, tienes que incluir estas tres partes. He para hombre, she para mujer. Luego la palabra works, okay, que significa trabaja. Y luego lo que está en azul puede ser una characteristic o el trabajo en sí, como les decía. Okay, pay attention, here we have the, the photo. She works with animals. Yes, it is. That's Miss Mariana, like a cartoon. Working with animals, in this case, are pigs. Yes? So, remember, yes or yes, you have to include the word, the person, he or she. Si o si tienes que incluir a la persona que es he or she. After, you have to include the, uh, the word works and the characteristic or job. Característica o trabajo. ¿Ok? Esto es cuando tú estás mencionando sin que te pregunte, ¿ya? Por ejemplo, si yo te digo, eh, what does your mother do? ¿Qué es lo que hace tu mamá? She works at home, she works with students, she works with animals, etc. ¿Ok? Now, eh, I need you one more time, please. Open your English copybook. Te voy a pedir nuevamente que abras tu cuaderno de inglés. And write down the subtitle, escribas el subtítulo, to mention the job people do, and the example with different colors. In this case, I use red, yellow, and blue. You can use any other color. Y el dibujo ahí, si quieren hacerlo más parecido, it's okay. Okay? So, tómate tu tiempo, colocas pausa en el video, y cuando estés ready, colocas play nuevamente. So, are you ready? Let's move on. Now we are going to mention the job people don't do. The negative sentence, una oración negativa para mencionar lo que no hacen las personas. En este caso, un he o una she. Remember. Let's see. The first word you have to include, obligation, 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 is he for a man or she for a woman. Then you have to include two words. En la afirmativa dijimos works. En la negativa, en una oración negativa, you say, doesn't work. Él o ella no trabaja. He doesn't work. She doesn't work. With animals. Can be the characteristic or the job. Puede ser la característica o el trabajo. Ah, she doesn't work with animals. In this case, what does Miss Mariana do? She works with plants. She works with flowers, etc. Yes or no? So, one more time, I need you please open your English copy book, tu cuaderno de inglés nuevamente, and write down, que escribas, the subtitle to mention the job people don't do, and the example with different colors, he or she, doesn't work with animals, ¿ok? Y también puedes hacer el dibujo lo más parecido posible que si quieres. Eh, tómate tu tiempo, pone pausa en el video y cuando estés ready, 
one spray again. Okay, so let's move on. I need you please now open your English book, student's book on page number 32. Okay, so take your time. Tomate tu tiempo, busca tu libro, abre, eh, open it, ábrelo en, eh, en la página 32 y yo te estaré esperando aquí. So ready, let's uh, move to page 32. So in this page we have, on the top of the page, uh, we have the same grammar box about how to express the job of people do or don't do. In this case, remember, we are just studying the description of uh, for he, for a he and for a she. Estamos solo estudiando la descripción de los trabajos para un hombre y para una mujer. So, as we uh, studied previously in the PowerPoint presentation, como estudiamos anteriormente en, el, eh, anteriormente en el PowerPoint, here we have the first sentence, which says, he works on a farm. He works on a farm. As you notice, first, this sentence is positive. Es positiva. And as I told you before, como les dije, the first word here was he, referring to a man. Then we have the word works. Inmediatamente está la palabra works. And then the characteristic on a farm, que nos indica dónde trabaja. Okay. ¿Qué pasa ahora con una negative sentence? Voy a hacer la línea más pequeña. This is negative. We have he doesn't work in a hospital. <coughs> Nuevamente el ejemplo está para un man, para un, para un hombre, porque es he. Y en negativa, pay attention, dice he, the first word, after we have doesn't work, doesn't work means no trabaja. In a hospital is the place where the, the person doesn't work. Es el, el lugar donde la persona no está trabajando, que es in a hospital. Recuerden que pueden incluir en, en esta última parte una característica, el trabajo, una descripción de la ropa, etc. Yeah. And then we have here the question. Does he work with animals? One more time. Remember que la pregunta empieza con does he... Or does she, para una mujer. Luego incluimos la palabra work. And then we have the characteristic, description, or the job. Yes? And in this case, as I told you, como les dije anteriormente, si tienes una pregunta que empieza con does he o does she, tiene dos alternativas de respuesta. Yes, he does, que es affirmative, or no, he doesn't, which is negative. Okay? So, now we already watched this and remember the grammar structure. Ahora que recordamos la estructura gramatical, vamos a continuar. So, pay attention to the following. I need you please um, now go to your activity book on page 31. I miss it. Mariana is oh, terrifying because she knows, in this case, I knew she knows that we are going to work. So my face of horror is, is very noticeable. Se nota mucho mi cara de horror porque sabemos que vamos a trabajar ahora. So, I need you please go to your activity book on page 31. Ya, te voy a esperar aquí. So, meanwhile, I go and open my book. Here we go. Okay, the first activity is this one. Says. Read and write, learn. In this, here we have the same grammar box. Tenemos el mismo cuadrito de gramática que vimos eh, hace unos segundos en el student's book. You have to complete the box. In this case, we have, he works on a farm. This is affirmative. This is the affirmative. Sorry for that. <laughs> Then we have the negative. How to... Can I complete the negative sentence? ¿Cómo la completo acá? He don't work. He doesn't work. He works not. Si me confundo un poco todavía, puedo volver a traer el video o revisar mi student's book. Here we have the question. 
¿Cómo era la pregunta? ¿Works? ¿He work? ¿He he work? ¿She he work? ¿Cómo hacía la pregunta? And then the two answers, the affirmative answer and the negative, okay? Then, we have to do this follow, uh, this next activity, activity number nine, and says, look and write. You have to complete um, different questions. Uh, we have uh, eight questions, eight questions, but the first one is ready. Uh, all of them, all of them are questions with the answers, yes, he does, or yes, she does, or no, he doesn't, or no, she doesn't. In this case, for example, we have uh, these four questions, these four questions are about this man, okay, and these four questions, five, six, seven, and eight, are about this woman, okay? So we have to complete uh, the question. For example, number one, does he work on a farm? Recuerden muy bien que la pregunta siempre empezaba con does he para un hombre, does she para una mujer. Does he work on a farm? Veo la foto. Yes, he does. Oh no, he doesn't. So, does he? And the answer is, según la fotografía, yes, he does. Yes, because he's with a cow. And he works in a farm. What about the other three questions? Does he wear a uniform or no? Does he work with animals? Does he a farmer? ¿Cómo completo esas preguntas? And the answers. <coughs> What about the girl? She's a firefighter, it seems. Um, creo que es una bombera. Yes. ¿Cómo completo las preguntas nuevamente con esta girl, con esta woman? ¿Cómo empezaba las preguntas? Look at the first one. Look at number one. Similar. And you have to answer, yes, she does, or no, she doesn't. Okay. <coughs> In the last activity, says, Circle the different job and write. Here we have uh, four boxes, four boxes with three jobs uh, in each one. Tenemos eh, cuatro cuadraditos, cuatro cuadritos con tres trabajos cada uno. And there is one which is different. For example, <clears throat> in the first box, we have astronaut, firefighter, taxi driver. Which one is different? ¿Cuál es más eh, diferente? Ah, in this case, is taxi driver. And I complete the sentence. I think, yo pienso, taxi driver is different. A taxi driver doesn't wear special clothes or a special uniform. Yo creo que, aquí dice, yo creo, pienso que el taxi driver es diferente. Porque el taxi driver, que es el taxista, no usa ropa especial o special uniform, que es un uniforme especial, ¿cierto? Por eso era diferente. What about the second box? Which one is different? Bet, police officer, farmer. In the third and in the fourth, ¿cuáles son diferentes? Entonces, en la primera línea, luego de que tú encerraste en un círculo el job que es different, en, la, en el ejercicio de al lado, vas a escribir primero... <coughs> So sorry for that. Vas a escribir primero en la primera línea el, el job que escogiste y abajo una pequeña descripción. Puede ser negativo como en este caso donde dice a taxi driver doesn't wear special clothes. No usa ropa especial. Ok. So um, esas son the activities for today. Esas son las actividades para hoy. Recuerden que deben tener esas, estas actividades listas before the next meet session, antes de la próxima sesión meet, porque las revisaremos en vivo, no las pueden hacer en meet. En el cuarto A with Miss Jessica, cuarto D with me, Miss Mariana. Ok, so that's it for today. Take care and bye bye.